Hi, writers. This is the second session of our personal narrative writing unit. And today we will be focusing on reliving the story in our minds to write it bit by bit. Now, before we jump right in, I want to invite you to take stock of the decision you made last night when you reviewed your writing and your possible story ideas to finally choose one that you want to take all the way through the writing process. So right now, just take a moment, look over your work, think about the choice that you've made, maybe reread some of the stuff that you've done. Maybe finally make a decision if you haven't already. Remember, you have stuff to help you with this. If you have a writing partner or someone you can talk to quickly, go ahead and try out an idea with them. Or maybe you remember some of the strategies that I've taught you so far or that you've learned in previous grades. Whatever you choose to do right now, make sure that it's meaningful and make sure that you are ready to go with a story idea in mind and you're ready to begin taking that through the writing process. Hopefully you're taking the time you need right now. Maybe you need to pause this video because you right now need to decide on your story idea or maybe even test it out a few more times before committing. If you need to, pause the video and use this chart to help you make that decision. When you're ready, resume or keep watching so I can take you to the next step. So today I want to teach you that narrative writers don't just think of a story idea and then plunge ahead. Instead, the writer will travel back to that moment the story really and then they think about how it went and reimagine exactly what it was like to be there, relive it. And then they try to story tell that moment bit by bit by putting down exactly what they said, what they did, what they saw, and how they felt. Maybe you've heard about bit by bit before. Maybe not. Right now, I'm going to show you exactly how I do this in my own writing. So for today and every day for this unit, I want you to be writing inside of your digital writer's notebook. If you're not using your digital writer's notebook, you're using an ongoing Google Doc. That means that today and every day after, you're just adding on by using the date and indicating you're in a new lesson, a new day, but you're adding to the same place because it's important that as writers, we see our writing process come to life. So that's why I'm using my digital writer's notebook. I'm even gonna go back and look at my notes from yesterday to pull up my blurb. Here's a quick tip too, if you're looking at your digital writer's notebook, you can make this bigger by just kind of taking that bar here and pulling it all the way down. I'm going to zoom in a bit too to make sure that it's as big as I want it to be so I can really see. Oops. Okay, we all make some mistakes. There's my zoom button. Okay, so here are my cringeworthy moments I came up with yesterday. And I'm thinking that one of them feels really meaningful and um, enough to really make for a strong story that doesn't just kind of talk through different events, but I feel like there's something worth teaching in this. Maybe a message I could share as well as something that's true about my life. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna actually just copy and paste the blurb and maybe you'll do the same. I'm gonna copy and paste the blur from either my yellow pages or my purple pages and plop it down in my red pages, my drafting, revising, and editing pages. I'm gonna to come to a clean spot and put it on a page so I have it nice and clear. Let me reread this aloud to you in case you haven't heard it yet. 
And then I'm gonna to start to do the work of the day, which is reliving the moment and telling the story bit by bit. So here's what I have so far. Something that haunts me is the time that I lost my grandpa on the beach. My grandpa and I always went to the beach together until a few years ago when his Alzheimer's became really bad. Alzheimer's is a disease in which a person loses their memory and other motor skills. One time I was sunbathing as I usually did, listening to his stories when I zoned out for a minute to realize that he was gone. Nowhere to be found. I searched everywhere. I thought I had lost him forever. I hadn't, but I had lost the grandpa that I knew. Things haven't been the same since. So that's my blurb, but I just want to remind you and myself that this is just the start. This is just a, these are just some words on the page that get me going. And I'm not yet doing the work of the day by reliving the moment and telling it bit by bit. This is kind of like a summary. It's like what you'd find on the back of a book that you're about to read, a back of a, of a novel. So I'm gonna keep this in mind. I'm gonna try this again on a fresh page in my red pages in my notebook. And I'm going to try this by really doing the work of the day, going back in my mind and actually making a mental movie picturing exactly what happened as if it was a movie. So let me try this by reminding myself of what I was saying, or thinking, doing, feeling. Hmm. It always helps me to close my eyes and picture it. Maybe I'll do this too. Okay, so I'm on the beach, on the beach. And what's the first thing that happens? Maybe I'm like taking it all in and enjoying it because then things kind of may take a turn for the worse. So maybe I can show that by saying, hmm, sun felt warm on my skin. Took a deep breath in. So the salty air. Filled my lungs. And exhaled. Do you see how I'm not just summarizing anymore? I'm really trying to capture it like a movie scene. What did I say, do, think, feel? Do you see some of those details here already? You might be noticing some of the sensory details I'm using what I felt, what I smelt. Okay, let me keep going. Maybe I can try, what did I say? What did I do? Okay, let me try this. I was thinking, is just perfect. I thought to myself. And it and for a moment it really was. I was on the beach in my favorite place with my favorite person. Okay, so now I want to really get this moving, right? Because it's a movie. So I want to make sure that I'm doing all the stuff that I know that I'm supposed to do when I'm first starting a story. What did I say? What did I think? What did I do? What did I see? Feel. I've already done a bit of the feel, a bit of the like the sensory details. Now I'm gonna kind of get it moving. I want to get it moving pretty fast. Maybe I'll start with dialogue. I always like when movies or scenes in TV shows start with dialogue because I feel like it gets it going pretty fast. I'm gonna try that right now too. Rampy, I asked with my eyes still closed, walking out the sun. So it's sunbathing, relaxing. 
I, in that moment, I realized I hadn't heard him say anything for a while. Gramps, no response. I pulled myself upward, up off the sand, sandy bed I had made for myself. When I realized it was gone. Okay, take a look at what I've done. I have captured this moment bit by bit by really going back in time, closing my eyes, reliving it, thinking about all the stuff that I was feeling, thinking, seeing, doing. And then I told it little by little. Do you see how I basically took the first sentence of my blurb and turned it into like two little paragraphs? That's because I use such specific details to recreate the moment for you, my readers. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to try the exact same thing in your own writing. I want you to look over your blurb or think about what you are going to be writing about if you haven't written your blurb yet. Think about it or reread it, whatever it is. Take, that, take this time right now to review your idea and then I want you to go back in time. So you're thinking of the moment in your life that matters, you've already chosen it. And now I want you to reimagine the story. Ask yourself right now, what exactly was I saying, doing, thinking, feeling at the start? Here my little cues to help you. Picture it. Imagine right now. Try this just in your mind. Maybe you say it out loud to your computer screen or to your neighbor or to your stuffed animal or your cat, your dog, your fish. Really answer this question. And then make that movie in your mind by storytelling it bit by bit slowly unravel the start of your moment. I want you to write this today, as I said before, in your digital writer's notebook or in an ongoing document. So maybe you start a Google Doc today or you're adding on to one, but it needs to be continuous. Go ahead, start writing and keep going for as long as you can using these specific tips, strategies to help you not only write a lot, but to bring your story to life. I can't wait to read what you're doing and to join you in your movie scenes in these moments as you tell them bit by bit. It's going to be great.